The theory of commodification of consumer use instead of produce use has been developed across time and has been facilitated by the introduction and development of technology and industrialization. This has allowed the mass production of products and economic growth. Therefore, this has encouraged the growth of capitalism, especially in the Western world. This has had negative impacts on the workers through the exploitation and alienation of employees and occasionally has led to revolution as the richer corporate leaders prosper while the working class suffer. Well, of course, if their products are becoming commoditized, then clearly the pricing is, is falling and the skills necessary to produce them are no longer proprietary or niche. They become generic. You end up with a production line and the scientific management of work and a very small task repeated many times over, which can be hugely demoralizing. Well, I think very much the scientific management approach. So everything is measurable time and motion, piece work, so very much breaking it down into small unit tasks and repeatable events and activities. The agricultural industry is one of the biggest in the world. Being perfectly competitive, no one farmer or firm's change in output can alter the change in the overall industry supply. Whereas farming used to be a labour intensive specialised job, with the help of technology, farming has now been revolutionised. With farms producing much more, consumers have an overwhelming choice of goods to purchase. Although the goods produced from farm to farm cannot be differentiated as they are homogenous, the commodification of this industry has led to a surplus of production in Western countries. Education is becoming more commoditised in recent years, as they sell degrees to students who need it for their future careers. At bookshops, we buy and consume a lot of textbooks and educational papers from primary school all the way up to university. You want to laugh, you buy tickets for a comedy show. You want to feel thrilled, you pay and you get it. You love music, you buy an MP3 player. You like games, you buy a game console. You want to see the world, you go on a tourism trip. Name it and you get it. Yes, this is how it works. You pay and get entertained. That is how the trend is in this 21st century world. These statements show how entertainment has been turned into a commodity. You pay for entertainment as you pay for a tangible product or a commodity. The commodification of entertainment is just one of many aspects of our life which have been blessed or infected by commodification. The experiences that people go through in life have been turned into commodities whereby if an individual wants to partake in those experiences, they must do so as a consumer. Examples of this would include skydiving and climbing. These experiences of exploring nature have been commoditized by organizations in order to create and exchange value for consumers to have these experiences, to create commercial gain for those who provide it. Nowadays, healthcare can be considered as commodification. Hospitals offer healthcare and doctor's advice to patients, and patients, as a consumer, consume these healthcare goods. Also, at pharmacies, we can buy a variety of health supplements such as vitamins, tonics, and omega-3 pills. In conclusion, commodification has arisen due to technology and consumerism, and can have consequences on consumers, society, and the economy. Aspects of our everyday lives have been commodified for commercial gain, such as agriculture, education, and labour. Through commodification in nearly everything in our lives, there's been positive consequences, such as the introduction of better products and increased efficiency in production. However, there have been negative consequences. Everything is mass-produced with the aid of technology. As a result, production is at a higher rate than consumption as a surplus is produced. This harms the environment and is a waste of material. Everything we do and buy has become part of the commodification process as there are a few aspects of our life that have not been exploited and commodified to benefit corporations. Overall, commodification cannot be stopped in the coming future because of the demand of goods and the power of businesses and organisations.